Yes! Welcome back. The God that reveals the dark moon and returns to answer your question. Mm -hmm. As the Magnus Sight movement mm -hmm. marches forward to one million subscribers. 90,000 strong! Now, this question comes from one of my lovely loyal Magnusitas. And this is what she asked his greatness. Actually, let me turn on a little bit of light here. I need a little bit of extra light. I think I'm going to invest in a new camera soon uh, because of the other one. This one, yeah, it, may, it, it, it glitches from time to time. As y'all know that it makes the screen look funny and shit. Like I put an effect on it, but I didn't. So I think it's time to invest in a new one. This one has done its job very well for three years. So, you know, but anyway, so <clears throat> this question comes from Sindel Wins. <laughs> yeah, that's a name. It says, I have a question. Where do you find the motivation to get up and work out? I used to be at the top of my game in high school, weren't we all? <laughs> Competing on national level in physical fitness, not showy or muscle kind of fitness, but military PT. I just stopped once I graduated. I have been trying to get back into it, but I am having trouble sticking to it. I am now the largest and the most out of shape I have ever been. I am trying to do this for myself, as I know diabetes is part of my family history. Oh, and there is also no real gym to go to on the island I live on. And would you live on just where, where you live? Um, I have Mother Nature as my back, or as my playground. I do fish and stuff. This includes walking on the rocks for miles in waist deep ocean <laughs> and hauling my catch back to the truck, whether it's fish or crab or lobster. But it's something I can do every day. But it's not something I can do every day um, to my full time job and responsibilities, Miss CJ. All right, so apparently you live on an island where ain't no damn gym. At least a good one that you can go to. You gotta tell me where you live. First of all, I'll answer your first question, where do I get the motivation to get up? The motivation for me to get up is the fact that I love to work out. I love the gym, I love the atmosphere. I love, I love pumping iron. And like when I pump iron and my muscles fill up with blood, that's called a pump. It's like I'm coming, so I get to come every day, several times. I'm coming. All right, so for me, it's a pleasure to go to the gym. I am in love with working out. I love working out. It is a passion of mine. My drive to keep an athletic physique, to stay healthy, all right? That is my drive also. So it's the look, it's the feel, I love it, it's the health, it's everything about it that wakes me up in the morning to go and do it. Now the question is, do you have that? Do you have a passion for being healthy? Do you have a passion to look good? Do you have a passion to be in great physical shape, to be fit? See, everything behind what you do, what you prosper in, what you excel in, there's a strong why. There's always a strong why. You understand that? You ask a top boxer what drives you. A lot of them might say to be the best. Some may say, I like to dominate and knock motherfuckers out. Okay. Both of them have strong whys that make them the best and the top of their game. Find out you have to create a burning desire for your physical fitness in order to succeed. See, when I go to the gym, it's not work. I don't look at the gym like a job that I hate, okay? 
I'll give you an example. If you hate going to the gym, okay, or at least hate working out, if you hate it, you got to learn to love it. And I know that might sound weird. I'll give you an example of it. I used to hate running. And there was a point in my life where my metabolism started to slow down, which was part of me eating too much toxic food and not detoxing properly, which is part of it. You need to get your, your, your you need to take care of your diet properly. Detox, make sure you're eating plenty of vegetables and fruit, organic, it's natural as possible, all that stuff, because that'll help uh, bring your weight down. But anyway, I started to run and the running definitely helped. But I had always hated running. Hated running. The only part of running that I like is sprinting. I was always fast, so I like sprinting. I don't like cardio running, just running to run to burn fat. Well, I started running, and first few days or so, it was hard. But then I caught the runner's high, and I started to love running. I started to embrace it. I was like, I got to get me some running shoes. Like, I was about to start becoming part of them, you know, you know, the whole subcultures of runners. You know, I don't think I want to do any marathons. I just think that, eh, it's just, maybe I'll do a 5K. Maybe I'll do a 5K one day. But I don't think I, um, because I think it burns the body out. That's my whole, you know, that's my view on it. I've seen a lot of long-distance runners, and they age prematurely. Just like people that are in the gym too much age prematurely especially if you diet it right but does that answer your question like where i get it you know what i'm saying i'm a single man right now too you know attracting a beautiful mate okay it's also a reason why i stay in shape okay being in shape for whoever i do marry she wants she's going to want to have a strong virile man that can handle things. Hey, girl, you need that pickle jar open? You know what I'm saying? I can do that. You need your back banged out? I can do that. You want a man that can carry you over the threshold after we get married? I can do that. You understand? You want a man that you feel safe around, that you feel protected with? I can do that. There are many things that encompass why it is what I do. Many subplots in the movie but just one main plot, and that's because I love it. You get what I'm saying? So uh, that's all I got to say. You must create that need, that desire, that want in it. Find something about it that you like. If what you like is the end result, if it's posting Instagram selfies that look good and get you a bunch of likes, hey, if that's what floats your boat, let that be your why. If it's the looks from good looking men, or just how you look and feel in the morning, looking at it because you said you want to do it for yourself, let that be your why, but it's gotta be strong enough. I always tell the story about the man that's walking past the man that's sitting on the porch with his dog, and the dog is, he's whining, and the guy says, why is your dog whining? He says, because he's laying on a nail. And he says, well, why doesn't he move? He will when it hurts enough. It's got to hurt enough. Your why has to be strong enough to make you move. Understand? One million subscribers and a 100,000 subscribers plaque that's on the way. Woo!